what's going on guys, it's reviews for you, uh, sorry I haven't been uploading for I think two months, I just recently went on a scout camp and it was in Eden in New South Wales, it was really nice up there, <coughs> yeah, um, it was for six days, we did a 30k hike over three days and the rest of the three days we went to Eden and I've had a lot of school work and stuff, and I couldn't really find anything to review, so yeah. So, uh, in this video, I rem am reviewing the Swiss Army Knife Tinket. Uh, it's really nice. It's a multi-tool and an army knife. Um, what is it? Uh, it's a survival knife. It's really good. Uh, this is the knife itself. Uh, it's got a lanyard on it. Oh, it doesn't come with that. That's just the one I made with the Switzerland co uh, colours. Uh, you can basically just put it on your sc uh, scout pack or something. <coughs> and, uh, yeah... This is one of my favorite. Um, this is my favorite type of Swiss Army knife. I don't really like the really bulky ones; they're super heavy, and then yeah, you don't really use most of the things on them. This one's just nice and compact and uh, really light. So yeah. Wow, uh, this is the Switzerland logo. Uh, yeah. So uh, this is the biggest big knife. It's pretty nice. Uh, as you can see, there's a couple of scratches on it. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, I think, three inches, and, uh, pretty sharp. I just, um, <coughs> sharpened it, I think, a couple of weeks ago. I used to sharpen it was this. It's a sharpening stone. One sec. Oh, this is pretty good. This is a sharpening side, and this is the polishing side. I think it, this is only, like, 20 bucks. It's pretty cheap from, uh, Aussie Disposals. And yeah, this is the knife itself. It's got a pretty good locking mechanism. But one time I was like cutting something like this. And then something just went hit this and contracted back and smashed my hands and got stuck in there to rip it out. It hurt so badly. A lot of blood. And on here it says, uh, if it focuses. Nope, it hates focusing. Okay. Victorinox Swiss made stainless. You can get really fake versions of Swiss Army knives, which suck. Uh, I saw Cutlery Lover doing a review on one, and he could literally snap, like, the things off it, so pretty bad. And, yeah, as you can see up here, there's, like, thumb pieces where you flick it up. So that's the big knife. Uh, I think here is, like, the one and a half inch blade. This is the one I use the most can like open up boxes and stuff so yeah this one's pretty good you can see a lot of scratches on it and stuff oh uh, yeah <sighs> um this is the I think this is a bottle opener you can just open up your bottles or vodka or something uh this is a can opener Oh uh, yeah, you can open up some cans of this. Some baked beans. Uh, this up here is tweezers, which are pretty good, pretty useful. Up here, uh, there's like a little thing you could put some string around it and make something with it. Use it for fishing. Oh crap. Uh, here is the toothpick, which can be used for anything, jabbing out your cuts, just jabbing at your gums and making them bleed, uh, yeah. Um, right here is the screwdriver, Phillips head. Really big, I don't know what you would be using that for in the survival. Here is a poking thing, there's a little uh, needle hole in there to do some sewing. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it. So, I think it ranges, this one's pretty, I think, like, $50. Uh, it's really good, really durable. Uh, yeah. You should get one, um, you usually get them from any survival place, camping place. They're really good. You can find any models that will suit you. Yeah. Best one, uh, best knives for survival. So, uh, thanks for watching uh, me at YouTube. Uh, 
Thanks for watching. Uh, please leave a like down below and subscribe, and leave any comments down below if you want me to do a review on anything else. So, yeah, thanks for watching me at YouTube.com. See ya. Bye, guys.